This Google Sheet automatically finds matches of your supplier's products on Amazon. The products may be downloaded from the supplier's website using a free Chrome extension and then added to the spreadsheet. Now, to start getting Amazon URLs, just click Find Amazon Products on the custom menu and then start finding Amazon URLs. The spreadsheet then automatically searches the product titles, finding potentially matching Amazon URLs. After getting Amazon results, you will then need to get their prices and other data. You may do this using either paid software or browser automation. In this case, browser automation will be used. Here's an automation that was built on a free platform called Automa. You will install Automa in order to use this automation which works specifically with this Google Sheet. The Google Sheet must first be shared for editing so that Automa may access it. To do this click on the share button and select the appropriate settings to provide read and write access of the sheet. Then, head to the URL of the spreadsheet and copy the spreadsheet ID as it will soon be needed. Now return to Automa and start the automation. You will need to paste the spreadsheet ID here and then click Run to continue. The automation opens each product in your browser, just as you would, and copies the data from the page. There is some delay added on each visit to ensure sufficient load time, to mimic more natural browsing, and to stay within Google Sheets rate limits. After each product is visited its tab is closed and its data will then appear in the spreadsheet. It may take a moment for the first set of data to appear. Once Amazon data is present the formulas in the sheet will begin to calculate profits accordingly with this price data. While prices are the biggest part of estimated profit calculations, you may also need Amazon backend data, such as FBA fees. In that case, you will need to use software or gather the data manually from Seller Central. However, using an estimated FBA fee might be effective for products of comparable size and weight to get an initial estimated profit. If you are an FBM seller then you may set FBA fees to zero and instead focus on your expected shipping costs. This is just a summary of how to use this Google Sheet. If you want more information then please see the description of this video.